REITs offer all the benefits of real estate investing without the high down payment or management headaches, but they do have their cons. By the end of this video, you'll have a better way to get those real estate returns, but without the limitations in REIT investing. We're talking property investing made easy today on Let's Talk Money. Joseph Hogue with the Let's Talk Money channel here on YouTube. I want to send a special shout out to everyone in the community. Thank you for taking a part of your day to be here. If you're not part of that community yet, just click that little red subscribe button. It's free and you'll never miss an episode. This video is the second in our three-part REIT investing series, and I'm excited for this one because we're going deeper into that investing strategy that's going to mean higher returns and lower risk for your portfolio. In partnership with Streetwise, I'm going to show you how REIT returns fit with your stocks and how much you should have invested in this real estate strategy. We'll talk about online REIT opportunities and how Streetwise has a unique strength in real estate investing with that ultra low cost structure. Now in the first video, I showed you how real estate returns blew the doors off stocks as well as smoothing out those big stock market crashes. In fact, an investment in a REIT fund over the last 30 years more than doubled the return on stocks. That's REIT's return of almost 1800 versus a 700% return on stocks. We also looked at those sweet dividend returns on REITs from that special tax treatment they get. On the average return of about 13.5% for exchange traded REITs, more than half of that, almost 8% is the dividend return every year according to the National Association of REITs. So with the real estate, you get that high cash flow, property price appreciation, the tax advantage, and it's a real asset, so maximum protection from inflation. But the answer to our real estate versus stocks question wasn't either or. It was how to use both to get that perfect balance of returns and cash flow, but without the downsides of each. That's what we're going to talk about in this video, how REITs and the newer online REITs fit with your diversified portfolio for that perfect mix of risk and return. So we know that we need that real estate exposure in our wealth building strategy. While stocks are probably still going to be the biggest part of your portfolio, you need a percentage in real estate not only to limit your risks in the next stock market crash, but to provide that return you need to meet your goals. Bonds aren't going to do it. Bonds are going to protect your money, but you'll earn all about a 2 or 3% after inflation. Now understanding exactly how much of your money you want in real estate depends on your age and other factors like your goals and how much the stress of those ups and downs of the stock market is going to cause you. In my investing course, I usually recommend investors start with at least 10% of their wealth in real estate and increase it as they get older and those needs for stable cash flows increase. So it's going to be up to you. I have just over a third of my wealth in real estate through three rental properties, REITs, and real estate crowdfunding. Now the real estate funds in my portfolio offer a chance for those cash flows I like from property investing, but without the constant management headaches. A benefit of the new online REIT investments is that it gives you a better idea of what you're buying compared to those exchange traded REITs that might have hundreds of properties in the portfolio. Managers for the large multi-billion dollar REITs are constantly having to buy properties or develop new ones and it can be kind of a drag on returns if they can't keep that cash invested. Smaller online REITs are easier to manage and you'll be able to keep up to date on exactly what properties are in the portfolio. Now not all real estate crowdfunding or online REITs are available to everyone. To invest on some platforms you have to be what's called an accredited investor with over a million dollars net worth or a certain level of annual income. It's part of the reason why I like Streetwise because anyone can invest in the first street office fund with as little as $1,000 and as of the, the date of this video is paid a 10% annualized dividend yield. Founders of the platform combined 40 years of real estate experience with nearly $5.5 billion in property transactions. Streetwise offers some of those benefits we talked about with an online REIT, that solid real estate diversification and transparency to know what you're investing in. The minimum $1,000 investment is one of the lowest I've seen with fees lower than almost any other online REIT fund. Their first online REIT has paid out a 10% annualized dividend since inception in September 2017. Now fee transparency is an important point, the one that most investors don't catch until it's too late. All companies have to disclose their fees, but it's usually done deep in the fine print or in a prospectus several hundred pages long. As an online REIT investor, there are four types of fees you need to watch for when investing. First are going to be the one-time offer fees. Now these are usually around 5% of your initial investment, but that's only if the project raises its target funding. If it raises less than that, the offer fees can jump as a percentage of what's actually raised. Another fee that's really confusing in the real estate crowdfunding space is those asset management fees. Most investors are familiar with this, but it works a little differently here. Now a lot of crowdfunding platforms don't actually manage the property investments. They're basically just banks, but they charge that annual fee and then the developer in turn charges the project fee on top of that. So you're actually paying two management fees here. 
those first two fees can add up, but it's these other transaction fees that really eat into your return. This is a fee charged when a deal sponsor has an event like acquiring a property, financing it, or, or leasing. These fees aren't included in the management fee, but are gonna come out of your investment whenever those events occur. Finally, we have the performance fees. Now these are common in hedge funds and private equity where the manager gets maybe a 2% base fee plus 20% of profits as an incentive. I always loved these fees when working in venture capital because that's where my real money was coming from. I might make low six figures on the base fee, but charging 20% on that profit of $50 million and it's a hefty bonus even split among the whole team. But Streetwise is one of the first to come out against this fee structure with a fixed 3% offer fee, no transaction or performance fees, and since the platform manages properties directly, there's just one management fee. The company aims to invest in properties with a value-oriented strategy combining credit-worthy tenants in non-gateway markets. Now this means it can acquire quality properties with a sustained occupancy that's really positioned to outperform the broader market. The current fund available is the First Street Office, a portfolio of institutional quality office buildings and has paid a 10% annualized dividend yield since inception. I'll be highlighting the online REIT in our next video on how to analyze REIT investments because this is really a solid fund. Uh, the property has almost 300,000 rentable square feet with tenants like corporate headquarters for Panera Bread and the New Balance Athletic Wear. Besides that low minimum investment and the fact that anyone can invest in the Streetwise Fund, I like the platform because it charges some of the lowest fees in the industry. You know, upfront fees on other online REITs can be very high, but Streetwise offers that capped 3% and an annual management fee of 2%. So I'll leave a link to the platform in the video description below, but wanted to give you a walkthrough of the sign-up process to show you just how easy it is to get started. Investing on Streetwise literally takes less than five minutes. When you click on Invest Now on the website, you'll go to a secure page with SSL Internet Security to enter contact information and how much you're planning on investing. You'll enter your name and email address, whether you're investing as an individual, a company, or a trust, and whether you're investing jointly with someone else, and then how much you plan on investing, and then click Next. On this next page, you'll enter your street address, city, state, zip code, other contact information, and then your social security number and date of birth. This next page is just to determine how much you can invest each year in the E-REIT. The SEC has special rules for people that are either accredited investors or non-accredited investors and how much they can invest. So you'll mark whether you're an accredited investor or not, and you'll put in your income and net worth. Next, you'll link up your bank account to make deposits easy into your account. You'll need your name on the account, the routing number, and the ABA number. Both of these are on your checks. One nice feature is that you're able to electronically sign your subscription agreement. So you'll read through the subscription agreement, type your signature, and then click Next. And that's it. Once you click Next, you're all set to invest in Streetwise. We'll be looking at a specific online REIT property in our next video, detailing how to analyze property investments and how they fit with your portfolio so you're not gonna wanna miss that. We're here every Monday and Wednesday with the best videos on beating debt, making more money, and making your money work for you. So click that subscribe button to join the community. If you have a question about money or investing, scroll down and ask it in the comments and we'll answer it in a future video.